make sure I've got everything here. Now you can change your view to speaker view. That way you get a fuller, a, a wider picture of me so that you can see um, the workout. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and do that. Just change your view to speaker view. And we will go ahead and get started. Let me uh, just grab my mat really quick. So for this workout, I'm going to be using some light weights. I've got a five pound set of weights and we are going to be doing a 30 minute um, upper body and ab workout. So we're gonna move quick. Let me just make sure that you can see me here. Scoop this back a bit. All right. Okay, everybody has their weights ready to go. Make sure you put them to the side. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Noelle. I am uh, one of the members of the MOVE team. So um, thank you all for joining me today for Thursday's session. We're just gonna get warmed up. We're gonna start with some shoulder rolls. So just lifting your shoulders up and back, just rolling them out, focusing on your breathing, this is just a good, good way to get the body, you know, moving and focused, ready to do some work. All right, and then we're gonna do some low twists. So we're just gonna twist from side to side. Awesome job. And then we're gonna take it a little bit higher. We're gonna do a reach. We're going to twist and reach. If you're feeling stiff, these stretches will really help you loosen up. And we're going to take it to the middle. We're going to do some forward arm circles. Just loosening everything up. And then we're gonna take it back and we're gonna do backwards arm circles. And then we're gonna do a little jog in place. So just a little light jog, get the heart rate up. Now remember at any time, if you're feeling uncomfortable or you feel any pain, uh, please stop the workout. And, and if your weight is too heavy for you, you can always drop the weight and do the exercise without the weight. All right, I'm feeling pretty warmed up. We're gonna grab our weights. Again, I just have a light pair of, you know, five pound weights. And we're going to make sure you've got a nice grip on your weights. We're gonna bring our elbows in and bring the weights together. And then we're just gonna bring them out to the side. And then we're gonna bring them back in together. That's the move. We're gonna do 10 of these. Here we go. One, two. Make sure you squeeze your shoulder blades together, three. Four, you're gonna feel this in your back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome job. You can now set those weights down, roll those shoulders out, Keeping everything nice and loose, warmed up. Back to our weights. We're gonna move into an overhead press. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate one arm at a time. I like to alternate because that way you really focus on one arm individually. So what we're going to do is you are going to bring those weights up 
like this. Make sure you've got a nice grip and you are going to lift one way up and bring it down. Lift the other way up and bring it down. We're gonna do 10 each side. Here we go, starting with the right up and down, up and down, that's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Six. Seven, awesome job. That's eight, two more. and 10. Awesome, you can set those weights down, roll those shoulders out again. Awesome, now we're gonna come down to the floor and we're going to do some uh, twisting. We're gonna start to engage our core. Make sure you can see me here. So you're gonna come down onto the floor. You can choose to do this with one weight or two weights. So you can take two weights if you want, or you can drop one and just use one. I'm gonna use just one weight. And you're going to um, lean back a bit, take your weight, this is for some intensity in your core, and we're gonna twist it from side to side, okay? We're gonna do 10 of those each side, okay? And the more you lean back, the more it intensifies that core. So you can stay, you know, as high or as low as you wanna go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. We're going to stay on the floor and we're going to move into a uh, lying down press, okay? A dumbbell floor press. So your knees are going to be bent. Your back is going to be flat on the ground as well as your head. Everything is nice and straight. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your weights, hopefully you can see me, and you're just going to press up, okay? And let your elbows and your arms hit the floor, okay? That's gonna um, add some stability for you. We're gonna do 10 of these dumbbell presses. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome, slowly set those weights down to the side. And we are going to come back up to our standing position. Make sure we have a nice grip on our weights. We're going to move into some bicep curls. So just have your weights lowered by your side. You can, um, your feet can be shoulder width apart. And you're just going to curl your weights up to your shoulders and then slowly lower back down. We're gonna do 10. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
Let's do five more. I'm feeling strong today. Let's do five more. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome job, you guys. You can set one weight down. If you need to grab a sip of water, go ahead and do that. We are now going to move into a um, functional exercise where we are going to lift one arm. We're going to hold our weight nice and firm and lift our arm. And we're just going to, like we're pouring a glass of water. Okay, that's the move. So you're going to lift your elbow nice and high, pour that glass of water, and then bring the arm back down. We're going to do 10 on each side. So this is a very functional exercise. We're always lifting and pouring things. So this is a great uh, move here. Here we go, we're gonna do 10. One, two, three, just be careful with that shoulder. Four, five, this looks easy, but I'm telling you, six, it gets heavy after a while. Seven, eight, nine and ten awesome we're gonna switch to the other side you can roll that shoulder out a little bit if you need to and here we go for ten on the other side one two three four five six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome, we'll set the weights down. Let's roll these shoulders out again. We're gonna move into our next uh, move, which is gonna help strengthen our shoulders and our back. We're gonna use both weights. Nice firm grip on your weights. You can widen your stance just a bit. You're gonna lean forward just a bit. Your back is gonna be nice and straight, okay? And you're going to bend your elbows and lift the weights up. That's the move, and then slowly lower the weights back down. You're gonna squeeze your shoulders back. This is a good one for our back, but also our triceps, and make sure your neck is nice and relaxed, okay? Don't. Don't clench your neck, don't clench your shoulders. Just keep everything nice and relaxed. We're gonna do 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, halfway there, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome job. Hopefully you are, all are feeling good. We're gonna move into some lateral lifts. Okay, so our arms are gonna be to our sides, nice and relaxed, our weights are in our hand, and we're just gonna lift our weights up to the side, okay? And then lower back down. Now you can go all the way up to a T. You don't wanna go any higher than a T. You wanna keep the shoulders safe or you can go halfway, you can lift the weights halfway. Whatever feels good for you. If the weights are too heavy, feel free to drop the weights and just do the exercise on its own. We're gonna do 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. You'll feel this all the way down your entire arm, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, let's set these dumbbells down, give those arms a little rest, roll those shoulders out. Next, we're gonna move into some dumbbell side bends. So for this one, I like to use just one weight 
and this one really works your um, obliques and it really helps with your flexibility as well because you're going to be using your legs. So all we're going to do is hold the weight in one hand and we're just going to bend to the side and lower that weight down almost to about your knee or as far as you can go and then slowly come back up. We're going to do 10 on one side and then move to the other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, feeling it in my obliques, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna switch sides. Let's take it to the opposite side for 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome job. We're gonna keep that one weight and we're gonna move into a twist with our weight. We're gonna hold it firmly on both ends. You're gonna bring it out in front of you and we're just going to twist the dumbbell, okay? So we're gonna do that for about 30 seconds. This looks easy, but it gets tough, trust me. Here we go. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds, you got it. And time. Awesome job. I know my husband, he always laughs at me when I do this move because it looks so easy, but then he tries to do it and he's like, I'm out <laughs> too much. <laughs> so it really works those arms uh, on the top of the arms, especially. So we're going to go back to our, uh, let's see, our overhead press. So we're going to alternate one arm at a time. So you got both weights. Make sure you have a firm grip. And we're going to do 10 on each side. We're going to lift our weights up and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Great job, guys. Back down to the floor. Moving into our dumbbell twist, we're gonna grab the dumbbell on opposite both ends. We're gonna lean back just a bit. Feet are firmly on the ground and we're gonna a twist side to side for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome job, we can stay on the floor. We're gonna lie back flat. Everything is straight. Carefully grab your dumbbells. And we're gonna move into that dumbbell press. Lifting the weights up and down for 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Everything is nice and straight. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
Nice work. We're gonna come back up. We're gonna move back into our functional exercise. We're pouring that glass of water. So you can grab your one dumbbell. We're gonna do 10 on each side. Be careful with that shoulder. Here we go, we're pouring for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switching sides, here we go for ten. One, two, three, four, five, halfway there, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome job. I just realized we, we forgot our bicep curl, so go ahead and grab your other weight. <clears throat> Firm grip. Feet are nice and firmly planted on the floor, and we're gonna curl up for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful. Keep these weights in both hands. We're gonna move into our lateral lift. Arms are to the side, nice and relaxed. Remember, you can go halfway or you can go all the way up. We're gonna go for 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful, you can set those weights down, circle out those shoulders, give yourself a little bit of rest, grab some water if you need to. I'm feeling nice and good today. I'm feeling nice and strong today. I hope that you are too. We've got Two more exercises, moving into our dumbbell side bend. This one, you just need one weight, remember. And we're gonna take it to the side for 10, lowering down and back up. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome, we'll switch to the other side. Definitely feeling that in my side obliques. Two, three, four. I feel like the, the uh, five, the little teapot, <laughs> six, Seven, I think the hand goes on the hip though. Eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful, keep that single weight. We're gonna move into our twist for 30 seconds. Make sure you got a nice firm grip on that weight. Here we go, twisting. Keep it nice and high. Arms are straight out. like you're driving a race car. 20 seconds left. Awesome, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Definitely 
definitely feeling that in my arms. Awesome job, everyone. We are now gonna move into our cool down. We're gonna do some stretching. So let's begin with a one arm stretch. So you just bring that arm across your body. Use your other arm to pull it across your body, feeling that stretch. Breathing in, breathing out. Switching sides. Show the other arm a little bit of love. Awesome, now let's clasp our hands together out in front of us and reach them out in front of you. So you're just gonna pull forward like this and just feel that nice stretch rounding your back slightly, deep press. Coming back up and we're gonna stretch out our neck a bit. So we're gonna take it to the side, side to side slowly. And then we're gonna take it forward and back. Showing the neck muscles some love. This definitely feels good if you're on the computer or even just on your cell phone, right? We're always looking down and we never stretch our neck back. This always feels so good. Awesome. And then we're going to stretch out. We're gonna bring the arm behind us here Stretch out those triceps, just grab a hold of your elbow. Put some pressure, light pressure on the elbow. Stretching out that tricep, back of the arm. And then we'll slowly switch sides. Awesome job. And then we're gonna reach our arms way overhead as High as you can go, reach, 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 reach. Clasp our hands together. Bring it back for a little slight back bend. Coming forward into a forward fold. And just let your head and your everything just hang heavy. Slowly coming back up. And you have completed today's 30 minute workout. So give yourself a high five or give me a virtual high five. <laughs> awesome job, everyone. I've got to jump on my next meeting, which I'm already a few minutes late for. So I will see you all next Thursday. Awesome, awesome job. I'll see you in the group. Keep up the good work. You are all so inspiring to me. I love seeing all of your posts and your food and all of the great things you guys are doing. So I will see you all soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.